Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living in return with having it. In order to do this, we have to have full-on access to the internet and broadband according to the current president and vice president. In order to do that, we have to recognize that if our companies and corporations of national and international brands are supporting that policy through offering free Wi-Fi, then it is a manager's duty to ensure that people recognize that that Wi-Fi is not a game or toy or tool for their elementary or, how we say it, beginning employees to play on. Every person in a technology store is not always technologically savvy, but sometimes the humblest of people like to play humble, but they have more skills than they want to tell people. What we're talking about today, of course, is cybercrime. That is a form of sometimes identity theft and fraud. It's when someone decides to play into someone's social media, someone decides to play in someone's medical records, someone decides to play in someone's aspect of life in their business or lie about this. Someone recently purchased my brand domain. I've been trying to find out who that was because it was interesting. I had just made a pitch for it, checked out its price, found that it was the right price, and then discovered the next day it was no longer available. I had waited some time to repurchase my domain because some monster decided to take it over and claim my brand. Long ago, we used to have the dot-com boom where people could pick a name, an actor's name, a corporation's name, and make millions of dollars and retire. Then all of a sudden, some new laws and new ideas came down the pike by people of prosperity who didn't really like that, so a lot of the rules changed. Every time we got a new technology, people would utilize it to their fullest capability over telephone lines to the marketing of their business. But oftentimes, new rules and new laws would come out that say, I'm sorry, you cannot solicit people this way. It makes sense because there were people who were abusing the value of technology tools. At the same time, it is foolish because every human being, whether it's a time of COVID or a time of epidemic, has to work and has to earn. People who like to debilitate other people's lives are doing so unlawfully underneath every law of international treaty and every law of our nation's best capabilities. 